Hi, this is Dr. Farley. Today what I want to go over with you is um, some concepts on microbial endocrinology, uh, the microbiota and the gut-brain axis in health and disease. Um, pretty interesting. Um, we know that the brain and the gut communicate, they go back and forth, but inside your gut you have a microbiota, which is a group of um, bacteria basically that live inside of you that do many things for you. So when you combine um, microbiology and neurobiology, a guy named Light in 1993 termed something called micro, microbial endocrinology. So what you want to know is that there's communication between the microbiome in the gut and the brain and they go back and forth. So you can have an imbalance in one create an imbalance in the other. So a breakdown in the brain creates a breakdown in the microbiome and vice versa. A breakdown in the microbiome creates a breakdown in the brain. And this feedback mechanism, um, you need to address both areas to get, the, to get it to balance out and to, and to get an improvement. Meaning you need to address the brain, how it's working, and you need to address the microbiome. So what you also want to know is that over a time frame, stressors um, create hormonal shifts inside the body. And stress comes in three forms, physical, chemical, mental, emotional. And basically, in 1992, so this is a long time ago, that this microbial organ, uh, that's what they call it now, it's a microbial organ because it's, it, it, it plays such a major role in your, in your overall health of your body and your brain. The microbiome will totally shift based on the amount of hormones that are being produced based on your stress response that's happening with you. So stressors come inside you, they, they tap on your hypothalamus, fires to your pituitary, fires to your uh, adrenal glands, and that brain hormone reaction is what we call the stress response. And the three stressors that can set that off are chemical stress, mainly from foods, outside environmental chemicals, uh, pathogens, germs, that kind of stuff. Number two, physical stress, uh, no, no movement, no exercise, falling down the stairs, getting surgery, getting into a car accident, that's a stressor. And then lastly is chemical stress, um, sorry, and then lastly is mental emotional stress. So mental emotional stress is what everyone thinks about when we talk about stress, but in my opinion, the number one stressor that's creating most stress reactions inside of people is chemical stress coming from foods, that don't work properly and then you whacking out your immune system and then you firing off that reaction over and over again. So as you fire off that reaction, what you want to know is that two stress hormones um, are released, norepinephrine and dopamine. And gradually over a time frame, um, when you release those hormones, you create pathogenic bacteria in your microbiome, which means you grow bad guys every time you fire off those stress hormones. And there's a 600% increase in abnormal pathogenic bacteria released when you have a stress response. Can you imagine that? 600%. So if we're stuck in a chronic stress reaction from mental emotional stress, physical stress, and then most importantly chemical stress, we just create a very sick microbiome and our microbial organ is off. And then once that microbial organ is off, the entire human being goes down the drain. Physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, everything goes off inside that uh, person. So a high stress response must be addressed. We are expert in stress. We understand mental, emotional, physical, and chemical stress. Our analysis is very much looking at the autonomic nervous system, how, what's going on with your stress response, and again, how does the brain and the gut, how do they work together, how do they uh, influence one another, and also how can we get this um, negative feedback that's happening over and over again where someone's going down a drain, how can we start to get it to move in a positive direction? There's multiple things that need to be done to have a successful outcome. This is not an easy fix. So thank you. I hope you found this interesting. And if you have any questions, um, please let me know. One last point I just saw here in the book. The 600% increase in, in uh, uh, abnormal bacteria happens within hours of having a high stress response. Hours. 
So within hours, you create abnormal pathogenic bacteria inside the gut from a high stress response. Wow. So thank you. Have a great day.